traveling overseas soon, are you still queuing up at the money changer? Well, why not get yourself a prepaid card, which is much easier and possibly cheaper than changing your cash. Hello everybody, this is Alex from SoyaChinChat.com and here are the best prepaid cards that you should consider for your overseas travel. Some of you might ask, why a prepaid card? Why not just use your existing debit or credit card from your bank? Well, the first advantage is better control and security. With a prepaid card, you can reload exactly what you need for overseas spending. Also, if you lose your card, you can also minimize the risk of exposing your debit card details which is linked to your savings account. As you know, filing a dispute for debit card transactions can take a long time. So why not just save the hassle with a separate prepaid card? Another advantage is lower fees. In most cases, travel-focused prepaid cards offer lower rates for transaction fees and even cash withdrawals for ATM. In some apps, they even show the exchange rate of the country you're in in real time, which is extra convenient. The third advantage is multi-currency wallet. Some prepaid cards that you hold different currencies, and this means you can buy foreign currencies like euros, US dollars, British pounds when the rates are low, and this helps you save when the exchange rates are high. First on the list is BigPay, which is a prepaid card from AirAsia. It's free to sign up for the app and it comes with a virtual prepaid card. If you want to have a physical card with PayWave, it's no longer free and you have to pay 20 ringgit for it. After completing the eKYC verification process, you can get a maximum wallet size of up to 20,000 ringgit. You can top up the card via online banking or even with a credit card. Take note that BigPay will charge a fee of 1% if you need to top up more than 1,000 ringgit a month via credit card. With a physical card, you can use it at practically any card terminal that accepts Visa PayWave or chip and PIN. You can also use it to withdraw cash which costs 6 ringgit at the local ATMs or 10 ringgit for international ATMs under the Visa network. On top of that, the BigPay app also supports QR payment via Do It Now QR. As announced recently, you can use it to scan and pay at Singapore's Nets or Thailand's PromPay QR code. The BigPay app is also pretty slick and straightforward and it provides a good interface to monitor your overseas spending. You can also manage your card from the app, including freezing the card, so that no transactions can go through if your card goes missing. Next is Touch & Go Visa prepaid card, which is linked to your Touch & Go e-wallet. This is great if you want to use your Touch & Go e-wallet credit in locations where QR code is not accepted. Similar to BigPay, you can use it anywhere where Visa is accepted, including PayWave and Chip and & Pin. At the moment, the physical card costs 10 ringgit. Since the card is linked to your Touch & Go e-wallet, you can reload it via credit card as well. However, Touch & Go has started charging a 1% fee for credit card reloads of more than 1,000 ringgit a month if you need to transfer the funds to other accounts. Once you've completed the Touch & Go e-wallet eKYPC process, you can technically have a maximum wallet size of 20,000 ringgit. The Touch & Go Visa card is also the first card in Malaysia to be numberless, so even if you lose a card, Nobody can steal your card details for online transactions. The Visa card can also be used for ATM withdrawals. The fees are one ringgit and forty cents for local ATMs, and fifteen ringgit for international ATMs under the Visa network. Malaysia Airlines has also introduced its own travel-oriented prepaid card that's called Enrich Money. This card is offered in partnership with Merchant Trade, which has been offering its own multi-currency wallet, which supports twenty currencies such as US dollars, Singapore dollar. Australian dollar, British pounds, euro, Chinese RMB, Thai baht, and more. So you can exchange your money to your preferred currency and spend that amount overseas. The only thing is that during sign up, you need to make a minimum reload of 100 ringgit, and 30 ringgit will be deducted. 10 ringgit is for the fiscal card fee, and another 20 ringgit will be held as a refundable deposit. Unlike BigPay, there's no separate virtual number. But Enrich also has a maximum wallet size of up to 20,000 ringgit. For ATM withdrawals, it costs 1 ringgit 40 cents for local ATMs and 10 ringgit for international ATM withdrawals. Wise is also another multi currency wallet, but it offers so much more. Besides having the ability to exchange and top up different currency wallets, Wise also allows you to receive money like a local in certain countries. For selected foreign currency wallets, even creates like a local bank account for you. To create a new WISE account, you need to top up a minimum of 101 ringgit. Yeah, 101. For some strange reasons, this is an extra one. And if you need the physical card, it will cost you 13 ringgit and 70 cents. Another benefit for WISE is that you can create up to three virtual card numbers, which is fantastic. I'll explain why virtual cards are great towards the end of this video. 
Another perk of WISE is that it only charges 5 ringgit per ATM withdrawal, and the first two withdrawals are free if it's less than 1,000 ringgit. For any withdrawal of more than 1,000 ringgit a month, WISE will then charge an additional fee of 1.75%. The fifth and final recommendation on our list is May by Maybank. Essentially, this is Maybank's digital bank offering, which lets you create an e-wallet with a linked debit card. According to Maybank, May lets you view your local balance in the local currency with its auto currency conversion feature. However, it only has a maximum wallet size of 10,000 ringgit. The card costs 8 ringgit per year, which lets you make unlimited local withdrawals from a Maybank ATM. For international withdrawals, the fee is 12 ringgit. It also works with Apple Pay and Samsung Pay. Here's a quick summary of the cards. Hit pause if you need to read. So, here are a couple of tips when you're using your card overseas. Firstly, if the card terminal asks you to select a currency, always select the foreign currency. Don't select MYR. In most cases, the MYR rates from the foreign provider is a lot more expensive. So if you're in Europe, select Euros. Second, monitor your transaction from the app. If you lose your card, you can freeze it immediately to block transactions. This is much easier than calling your bank to suspend the card. Third, if you're going to use a card for online payments, use the virtual number as much as possible. If a certain website suffers a data breach, you can easily replace the virtual number without changing the physical card. This makes it less of a hassle and you don't need to wait for a replacement card. So, what do you think of our list of the prepaid cards? Which prepaid card will you go for? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed of our future videos. This is Alex from SoyaChincha.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.